Hi everyone. On this video of the statement of cash flows, we're going to be looking specifically at how to calculate unknown amounts. Uh, for example, if we're not given dividends, how can we use information to find that number? As well as cash receipts from the sale of an asset. So specifically, what if we're not provided dividends or accumulated depreciation? So consider the following data. So letter A, the beginning and ending retained earnings are $48,000 and $68,000 respectively. Net income for the period is $64,000. And then we've got information letter B, beginning and ending plant assets net are $102,000 and $106,000 respectively. Depreciation for the period is $19,000 and acquisitions of new plant assets total $26,000 and plant assets were sold at a $4,000 gain. So what we have to figure out is how much are cash dividends and what was the amount of the cash receipt from the sale of plant assets. So let's start with letter A. It tells us that beginning and ending retained earnings are $48,000 for beginning and $69,000 for ending. And net income for the period is $64,000. So what we remember is net income increases retained earnings. So we have net income of $64,000 increasing retained earnings. And we know that $48,000 plus $64,000 does not equal $69,000. So something must have caused retained earnings to decrease. And what makes retained earnings go down are dividends. So we're just going to do a mathematical equation here to solve for dividends. So we know with any T account, um, debits minus credits or vice versa equals ending. In this case, retained earnings carries a normal credit balance. So we will take credits minus debits equals ending. And when you do that, you can rearrange the equation and say that, well, 48000 plus 64000 in net income less the ending retained earnings will give me dividends. And in this case, or the debits. In this case, dividends or the debits are $43,000. In letter B, we're told that beginning and ending plant assets net. Now, remember what the word net means. We know that net means something has been taken out. Well, when we're talking about plant assets, what's been taken out here is depreciation. So in the plant assets net account, you will also see the depreciation amount. So beginning plant assets net are $102,000 and ending plant assets net are $106,000. And they tell us that depreciation for the period is $19,000. That effectively reduces the plant assets net amount. And acquisitions of new plant assets total $26,000. So that's going to increase our plant assets amount. And it says that plant assets were sold at a $4,000 gain. Well, that's going to help us a little bit here, but remember plant assets are recorded at cost, not necessarily what we are going to sell them for. So we're not going to take, we're not going to take them off the books or out of their own account for what we sold them for. We're going to reduce this account by it, whatever the cost of what we sold was. So we've got to kind of figure that out. So we have $102,000 beginning plus purchases of $26,000 minus depreciation of $19,000 does not equal 106,000 in ending. So what we've got to figure out here is what did we sell? And since this is a plant asset net account, it's actually going to give us the book value of the asset sold. So when we do some simple math here, we find that the book value of the asset sold is $3,000. Now the last part of this question is what was the amount of the cash receipt from the sale of the plant assets. Well, we know the book value of the asset sold was $3,000. And we also know, know that we sold it at a gain, a $4,000 gain. 
and therefore the cash receipt must have been seven thousand dollars that we received.